So today we're gonna look at something small, possibly even tiny. Inside this box is what I'm being told is the world's smallest 4G Android phone. Now this is not the first time I have looked at a micro smartphone. Oh, Posh Mobile. So, Posh, dare I. Certainly no issues there getting your thumb to reach the top of the display, but this is a new one. It's called the Jelly, and this one adds some functionality because it's got 4G connectivity and Android 7. And the crazy part is, once it launches on Kickstarter, it's only gonna be $60. Now let's check it out. Ooh, there it is. There's my hand. There's the device. Ooh, it's actually kind of comfy. I'm not dropping that. You might be thinking, I can't use something like that. That's gonna be a headache. I'm on my phone, I'm watching videos, I'm doing all these things. Maybe it's not your main device. Maybe it's a backup device. Maybe you have a, a SIM card in here when you go for a jog or something. Maybe you're on vacation, you want something you take to the beach. Fits in a small little pocket. But I think at 60 bucks, it doesn't need to be your main device. It could be an accessory to your current smartphone. Very nice. Rear facing camera, flash, volume up and down, micro USB to charge it, power switch, headphone jack, Apple can't even give you that. There we go. And on the back, would you check that out? It has a micro SD card for storage expansion and two SIM card slots. Micro USB cable to charge it up, a little power brick and a tiny little battery, which at least is removable. Before we boot it up, let's do some size comparisons here. All right, so I have my Google Pixel. <laughs> it's like a quarter the size. How about an iPhone 7 Plus, but not just any 7 Plus, the 24 karat gold plated 7 Plus, which if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. It's about a quarter of the size. This thing is tiny. This reminds me of cell phones before smartphones. I had a Motorola that had a pivoting earpiece, and that was like, shortly after the brick phones. And then when smartphones came out, well, you know what happened, it went all the way up. I'm not actually having a phone call right now, I should probably, uh... There are some headsets that are bigger than this, eh? Ooh, very nice, Unihertz. Now keep in mind, this unit is running full on Android 7, gonna have access to the Play Store and all those things, so you don't have to be concerned with that. Look at that, it's a slick little interface. Apps. Okay, so far pretty snappy. It included Chrome and I guess their own browser. Now this button here has a pretty decent haptic feedback on it from lock. Pretty quick, 78% battery life, nice. The CPU, 4X Cortex A53, 1.1 gigahertz, a gig of RAM, eight gigabyte ROM. So all pretty current. All right, there we go. Look at that Google Play on a tiny little screen, but it works. Look at how small this keyboard is. Surprisingly, you can actually select the right letters. Like, look at this. Here we go. <laughs> That's wild how tiny that is. <laughs> the speaker is not very loud. First off, this little thing here, it's a stinger emergency escape tool, powerful steel punch, life-saving. It is what it is though. What is this playing back at? Okay, that's 240p, maximum 480p. Let's go all the way up. That's probably all you need on a display this size. Think about the savings on your cell phone bill. This is not designed for power users. That's not the goal here. I gotta be honest, I didn't really even expect it to be this smooth, but we haven't tried the camera yet. That could be a problem. Here we are. I mean, it doesn't look that bad on this display, but who really even knows? I mean, a display like this, who knows? All right. Now there's also a beauty mode on the forward facing and there's video. Let's test the video here. Here we go. A little bit of video on the world's smallest 4G smartphone. Adjust the white balance, image properties, camera mode, zero shutter delay, phase detection, okay. Picture size, five megapixels. And for video mode, image stabilization, noise reduction, and the video quality was at high. There is fine, which is slightly better. Now here is the video in fine mode. Seems a little bit better actually in quality. And of course it wouldn't be an unbox therapy video if I didn't show you your favorite character, Jack. Good job, buddy. Here we go. Ooh, three, two, one. 
As long as you're looking at it on this display, it doesn't look that bad. Anyway, there you have it. A full-fledged Android smartphone, two SIM card slots, Android 7.0, expandable storage, a headphone jack, and all of it baked into a device with a two and a half inch screen. Is it gonna replace your golden iPhone 7 Plus? Probably not. This is 60 bucks. Maybe it's your second or your third device, or maybe it's a gift for somebody who has everything. Plus it has a cool name, it's called the Jelly. You know what I never understood? Everybody always said peanut butter and jelly, but I never use jelly, I always use jam. You guys tell me in the comments, is jelly the same as jam? And are you more likely to use the term jelly or jam when referring to a peanut butter and jam sandwich? Also, consider toasting it. It only gets better. Do you agree on that?